The classic space computer is one of the best bricks ever made. I wanted one with a working screen and buttons, but couldn't find anybody making them. So I built one. Well, actually two types so far, but we'll get to that. The case is 3D printed. It's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, which is about six times bigger than the original. The main panel is also 3D printed and has six six millimeter by six millimeter push buttons. But I actually only ended up wiring up three. The screen is a 1.5 inch color OLED. The microcontroller, which is wired to the screen, controls what's shown. It's an ESP32, which is currently just jammed into the poorly designed case. After spending a few evenings of writing some horribly buggy code, this is what I had. When you turn it on, you get shown a little animated space logo. Then it goes to the white cross like the original brick. The screen isn't super bright, but it's easy enough to see in person. Pressing the top left button allows you to change mode. As a kid, I imagined the cross was some kind of radar, so mode 2 just has these ships appear a bit like a radar. Mode 3 displays space facts, which change every 4 seconds, because who can have enough space facts? Mode 4 is a little game where you need to avoid the falling bricks. You use the two other functioning buttons to move the spaceship side to side. If a brick hits you, it's game over. Mode 5 shows time and date, which while boring is probably actually the most useful mode. This turned out to be one of my cheaper projects. The screen is an Adafruit Color OLED breakout board which costs $40. An ESP32 was around $12. The push switches, I don't know exactly, but probably around 20 cents. And for 3D printing I used just over 100 grams of filament, so around 2 or $3 worth. So a project total of around $55, which compared to most of my projects isn't too bad. As I mentioned, I've also been working on another type of computer brick, but it's still a work in progress. It had to be a bit bigger than the first just to fit the parts in, which was a little disappointing. It doesn't do much yet, but the buttons are functional. What I have done with it and is working well is using it as a little dashboard on my desk. It displays things like the time and date, the current weather, and a few cryptocurrency prices. I use Smashing to build the dashboard and will leave a link in the description. So I have my working space computer. In all honesty, it's pretty useless, but I'm glad I built it. So is that the end of this project? Well, no actually. I started designing a version 2. It's going to be bigger, approximately 15 times bigger than the original brick. That's going to allow me to make all the buttons work and include a 7 inch 720x720 screen. It's going to use a Raspberry Pi which will allow me to do more like play retro games on it. Which means it's also going to need a speaker for sound. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I sometimes share projects there that I don't feel warrant a full YouTube video. Thanks for watching.